All he needed to do was say, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the Lord your God. Amen? Amen. So Jesus experienced hunger. Jesus experienced fatigue. In John 4, we're told that he, he had to walk up to Galilee. And to do that, he had to go through Samaria. And we're told that at midday, he was weary from the journey, and so he sat down to rest beside Jacob's well. And of course, what happened after that was a Samaritan woman came up, and Jesus ministered to her, and then wind up, wound up staying two days in the woman's town because everybody else found out the Son of God is here, the Messiah is here. And so they came running to him. But it started because Jesus was weary and fatigued. And you know something? It happens to a lot of people in service even now. Danilo mentioned that in his, in his little prayer. It, it, it happens to me, it happens to John, it happens to Barry, where you go along and you get worn out. I see it happen to pastors all around. And you know they've got to have some time to rest. And what's happened here with my throat? And with something else that, oh, th th this, this is a, a, a real relief from the doctor told me. There actually is a clinical name for this. It's called caregiver's fatigue. So I'm very relieved there's a name for it. That, that makes it a whole lot better. Because in, in case you don't know, Amelia went through surgery and then recovery period. My dad had a heart attack. He is still, you know, on the mend, kind of, you know. And, and I'm the only kid. And I'm the only family member that Amelia's got out here. So it, it kind of lands on me. And I'm not complaining because I'm just trucking along thinking I was doing fine. And then all of a sudden, about two weeks ago, it's like, and down I go. Okay? So that happens. And it happens to anybody. And sometimes it's God's way of saying, slow Whoa, slow down. <laughs> See, I can't even make this thing sound wrong. <laughs> That's it, you know. Everything I learned about mic technique, I learned from Bill Cosby. Anyway. <clears throat> That's why I'm not in radio anymore. Anyway. Um, so Jesus experienced fatigue. It's okay to rest. For one thing, you never know what's going to happen when you do. And that was the same thing with Jesus. He experienced, and this has a lot to do with fatigue, he experienced the need for me time. Except he did it a little bit differently than some of us do. He did it in Matthew 15. I think that's what I wrote down there. Matthew 15. When John the Baptist was executed and word came to Jesus. Remember, John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin. And he hears about this. And it says that he departed into a desert place. In other words, he just had to get away. But well, what's he doing in that desert place? You can bet he's not sitting down with a bottle of scotch, drowning his sorrows. He is instead reaching up to God. He is taking that time to pray and to seek the Lord, which is what he keeps telling us. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. He says, love the Lord your God with your heart, mind, soul, and strength. So that when you are in a situation like that, and you need that me time. Don't take the me time as being just time to veg and empty your mind. But spend that time going before the Lord. I've had some, some cases.